My name is Vikas Kapil. I'm a consultant at the Barts Centre of Excellence for Blood Pressure at St Bartholomew's Hospital in London. And I'm going to talk today about the importance of combination therapy in the treatment of high blood pressure. So we know that in the UK, control of blood pressure is not perfect in all patients. Only about 50 to 60% of all patients treated for their blood pressure achieve adequate blood pressure control. Now there are lots of reasons for this. But one of them is potentially the, the fact that patients aren't get, being given early enough in their blood pressure journey combinations of medicines that are known to lower blood pressure effectively. And combination therapy is potentially beneficial for several reasons. One is that we know combining medicines at lower doses is better for blood pressure control in terms of the magnitude of blood pressure reduction than increasing a single medicine on its own. So if you take two medicines at a very low dose, you'll get more bang for your buck in terms of blood pressure reduction than if you increase either of those medicines on their own to a much higher dose. Another reason that combination therapy is potentially very useful is that most, although most medicines taken for blood pressure are very well uh, tolerated by most patients, some patients do develop adverse drug reactions and side effects. Taking medicines at lower doses in combination means that most patients will avoid any possible side effects because side effects are dose related. So the more of a single medicine you take, the more likely you are to suffer a side effect or the more serious that side effect might be. Increasingly, in the UK and in Europe, when patients have very high blood pressure to start with at diagnosis, there's a move to using at least two medicines to start with in combination to lower blood pressure. Because we know that for the average person with mild hypertension, a single medicine lowers blood pressure by about nine over five. And so if blood pressure is much higher than ideal, combination therapy will be needed eventually. Trials are ongoing, sponsored in part by the British Hypertension Society, to find out whether starting in all patients with two medicines is better than one. And these trials should be reporting very shortly. Thank you.